Oh yeah, that is a slaughter right there. Well, hello everybody, welcome back to Mana Lord. So we are getting attacked by a group of 72 bandits. We actually have a good army this time, and 64 archers. I got 36 footmen, I got 12 spear in the front. So we're basically gonna annihilate these guys. We're, we're ready, we're prepared, and uh, soon, here they come, here they come. Cool, cool, coming right to me. Hopefully we don't have anyone trying to burn anything down. All right, first volley's going off. Definitely doing some damage. You can see their effectiveness is going down. Uh, it went up, actually. That's kind of funny. Killed one of them. It looks like we actually may have routed them slightly. So we're going to target this guy. Nice, we got him from behind. That was really good. Okay. All right, the spears will definitely be able to handle these dudes. Okay. We have 18 more behind. That's good. All right, we want to be careful not to hit our own men. I'm going to concentrate on hitting these dudes in the back. Our swordsmen, I think we're actually going to pull them into the combat. And we're going to fire at Will on these dudes. We don't like Will. Will's a dick. Here we go. All right, and once all the enemies engage in a line, we'll go behind and we'll just start picking them off. But right now our goal is just to kind of piss them off. Okay. Our guys are a little tuckered out from shooting. You can kind of see it. Oh wow, we routed, routed two units. All right, we're gonna put them on run. And then we want to put them on shoot at will. So if you look at shoot at will, soldiers fire directly at enemy increases accuracy up close, but decreases it at half the maximum range or more. So be careful. Yeah, so far we're not really losing anybody. We have way more men than them, but we can get their men right now. Oh yeah, that is a slaughter right there. stragglers. I like the way they actually really do aim at the enemy though. It's really cool. We did it. We didn't lose any people too. All right. That was awesome. I love having all these dudes to put into a big old army now. Vanquish all our foes. These are small fry though. Um, eventually the Lord is going to raid us. So as I said in the last video, our goal here is to get up to about like 60 planks. So we have our new forestry area. That is double saw pitting it, as you can see. Um, advanced is we can assign a, a, a livestock right to it. Uh, same with over this over here. So I think we're gonna do that. Just make sure that they always have one. I'm gonna leave the other guy alone. But I do like the ability to assign livestock like that. Now the foresters and everybody is unlimited, so they just cut the nearest or plant the nearest, which I really like. And this storehouse has to get upgraded. We need a big storehouse next to this. All right, but we're getting going. And then this is the city now with tier three. It looks so cool, I love it. The market, um, my next design is gonna be a little bit cleaner and nicer than this, but I like it so far, to be honest. So, there we go. Okay, and all these brand new houses over here have plots. Nice, so we already have one dude doing armor. We already have one of each here. I think the only thing we can do is a bakery extension. I'm gonna do vegetables. I'm also gonna do one more house in this little section here because it's uh, making me making me nervous. Oh my gosh, what are you doing to me, sir? Not enough goods? Okay, yeah, we need more wood. All the men were at battle, so we used all our resources. There we go, back to it. All right, and I think it's only fair that we put 
New family's moving in. Woo! We put some hitching posts over here. Get some more. Very cool. We have a ton of stables over here. So we got stable space, two out of two. Yep, two out of two. two. Yeah, I don't really think you need anybody in there. I was just testing out to see if I was missing something. Alright, we probably only need one dude in here now, too. Our, um... Our wheat. Our wheat is getting pretty amazing. Now that we have a bunch of fields doing it. 39 and 353 days. We got going over here. Oh, yeah. I could definitely fence this bad boy up. We just purchased a ton of sheep, I'm pretty sure. Going home, guiding an ox. I know that we had a bunch of sheep in here at one point. Yeah, um... We can see how many sheep we have just by going over the livestock. Or sorry, trait. Uh, we have two of the ten. Okay, so we haven't purchased them yet. Lambs are coming. We could, I mean, we could uh, purchase oxen for, I think, cheaper if we uh, import them than if we try to buy them here. They're 30. I like that, though, because it's like you're just guaranteed to get it. Okay. Very good. Buy an ox. Upgrade. You can only do it once, though, per so. Upgrade. Yeah, look at us go. Alright, now, now to finally get this freaking house up. Alright, now we have a plot. I don't know how, how I want to do this. I didn't really want too many houses here. I kind of like the idea of having two big ones like that, or even just one house with a really big farm. It doesn't actually have the space though, the way that it's it's uh, done. That's really interesting. Yeah, there's there's lots of ways to uh, place things in this game. Gosh. <gasps> right, one more time. Yeah, it's not doing it the way that I want it to. It's not getting the uh, the farm up in the top. I think maybe we have to do it like this. There we go. I like that. We can make that a big farm and have four families on it when it's upgraded to two or three. Boom, two, two. Yeah, there is one problem though, is that every time I upgrade, I'm losing one of my tier ones. It wants you to have crap shacks, which I don't like. Very cool. Nice. The rocks, there we go. Nice. Okay. I think we're in business now. We're just like barely keeping the, the lights on on the food. Or market area. Okay, well... There's actually a few ways that we can do this. I thought about this earlier. The road kind of did screw things up in the middle. So if I remove it, I can um, potentially expand the market area. Doesn't let me touch anything. Oh wow. I like that though. You can see the coverage. Food variety. Clothing. So you can see that it's hitting all those houses. You can see the not hitting this house. Oh, that's the tavern. Okay. Yeah, the only thing I could do is destroy a marketplace, but the problem is when you do that, I think it leaves all the goods behind, so you can't uh, put anything down until all of it's moved. And that gets weird. Could do this, though. Nope. Not enough room. Alright, let me think for a second. I mean, we could test this theory out. See, if I destroy this marketplace... Yeah, it leaves all the supplies on the ground. So we have to let them clear it out. They clear it out pretty quick. Then, like I said, I don't think you can do anything until... I give 16 instead of 11. Oh, I guess... Yeah, well, let me build it because there's, there's stuff on the ground. 
This has happened to me more times than I can tell you, or I couldn't figure out why I wasn't able to place it, and it's because you have shit on the ground. Alright, we're just gonna let them clean it all up. Oh, nice, we did it. Did it count? So here's my question. Did it count the, uh... Hmm. Let's not question it. Alright. Advanced armor making. Deep mining. I want this. It enables blacksmiths to craft mail armor. Level 3 or higher. Promoting to retinue. Nito. Industry. Smithy. Yeah, clay furnace. I'm not seeing... Anything. Ooh. Use this building to set up a barter connection while you're saying... Okay, that's what mules are for then. I got you now. Mules are to move goods between towns. Makes sense. Apiary. Nice. It's the honey. Charcoal kiln. Cosmetic. Oh, yeah, nice. Shrubbery. I didn't know you had shrubbery. Alright. It does look like you just have to rely on whoever your dude is. Uh, whoever our armor smith was, which I think is like down here somewhere. Armor ship. So he'll make all of it. Hopefully that will allow us to get higher tier units. I'm just going to wait for them to empty out this slot. And then we'll put that guy down with a bunch of uh, shops. They're, they're getting there slowly. Okay, I changed my mind on uh, the farming thing. All right, wood. We just like seem to be producing so many bows and stuff that uh, we're gonna need to go deeper. <laughs> we're gonna need to go way deeper. Uh, give me a road. Yes. All right. So we're going to need a second logging camp. And we're going to need, I think, two more foresters. I'd like to have them come off a road. We just need to keep all this stuff going. So yeah, I think we're going to go the distance here. If you look up here, I mean, like, our boards can't even keep up, so... Yeah, one more board production. Right, let's do it. We're just we're just gonna ramp it up, man. Okay, five freaking berries. Beautiful. It was a it was a bit painful, I know. All right, fifteen. Want to get the most amount of stalls possible, so we're gonna try coming from a different angle. No. Eighteen. I think that's actually decent. All right. There we go. Speed it up. Now you guys got plenty of places. Seven more than we had before. Hundred percent approval. Not bad. Fill this bad boy up with ox. Two people? Yeah, we're going all out here. We are going all out. sign I get the saw pit up I get more board now yeah, we're talking that was a lot of people I know but um, it's gonna be worth it or 
perfection. There we go. And we got ourselves an industry. We got 4,800 silver. That's awesome. Might have to do another saw pit if things keep going this way. I'm hoping, though, that between the foresters and the two logging camps, we can just keep ramming stuff in here. Get that one, too. Oh, yeah, look at that. That logging camp's doing amazing. Yeah, we definitely need uh, another sawmill. cool. Now we have a really thriving area right there. Awesome. There's water here too. There we go. Two more. That's gonna, yeah, we're bringing in a lot of timber, so that will really help, and that will help with our our trade because we're selling an enormous amount of of weapons right now. See what we're at? Yeah, we're selling all of our war bows. We're not selling as many shields as I was hoping. Hopefully, we start selling more of the small shields here. But those are bringing in really good prices. That's why we have so much money. Um, we we could easily start actually importing. Some of these things that we want, like full arms. I, I do like. Um, oh, I have to start a trade route. Yeah, I do like establishing trade routes and then doing things like import till you have 10. Um, import these until we have 20. Spears we don't really have crap for. And I, I feel like I could buy iron and make them, but I feel rich right now. Import to wave 20. Man, we don't have anything. Yeah, let's start, start getting our guys a little bit nicer. We'll definitely produce a lot of these things, but I feel like we have the capacity right now to really upgrade our military and I just spent all that money okay get the iron coming in so we can make our own stuff firewood we're still selling what else can we sell nope ah, food Don't. Yeah. Now we'll just keep selling bows. Keep exporting bows and shields and making our money there. Alright, 78 boards. Time to finally build a manor. We'll finally, finally live up to the name of this game, Manor Lords. But, uh, that looks really weird. I don't like the way it's doing this edging here. There we go. Do it like that. Outer tower. Heck yeah, we'll do an outer tower. Back off. Cool. Commit. And then if you want to gate, you gotta build uh, a road. We'll build a gate automatically for you. Full of eight spare families. That's pretty cool. We're broke, though. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, once we get our new military, which is my entire goal, uh, then we don't have... To oh, yes, 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 yes. Shoes. We could have been selling shoes. I forgot all about shoes. Yeah, 
Got a massive building project over here going. Pretty cool to see, like, the enormous amount of, uh, of nine families who are just assigned to basically construction. The, all these people hauling stuff for you. Nice. Get up our manor lord. Then we can start taxing and we can start building up a treasury so we can hire mercenaries if we're ever attacked by that other lord. Holy shit. Two months worth of food, eh? Okay. You would think with, um... Just all the farms that I have, we wouldn't be having a food issue. I'm sure it will remedy itself, like, right about now, but that's a little scary. I think we're going to bring in enough food for everybody, but... I'm trying to get more sheep here too, so that we can get better wheat. But you can see we're able to easily keep up with a lot of this stuff. Just not getting, not getting that what I think we should be getting. We're getting hardly any bread, and these are like good fields. I think we need more sheep. Only got two so far. Put a person in here and see if that helps. Sheep farm. A little bit. Transporting. Imports livestock. Alright, I don't know what to do there. We're getting closer. This place is pretty pretty packed though for resources. It's like we have all of our stuff in the best place ever. For Emmer. I think we need Rye. I think we need a bad. We have to go Apple Orchard. We need two points for that. And we're, we're at maximum level, so you have to kind of think down the road. Knowing what I know now, I wish I could actually. Probably wouldn't have taken those two. Probably would have taken apple and rye. Um, you could also do trade logistics. Better deals. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of ways to play this game. You could always just buy these things, right? But food. Food means you can have a larger population that's focused on trade items. So, that'd probably be the route I would go, honestly, is focus on food production. And then buy everything that you need and sell wood pro like sell bows, just mass produce bows. Have a nice forestry area. But yeah, you could take over other towns too, so lots of opportunities.
Hmm. We're gonna do something a little weird. I'm gonna test out, test something out. Oh, I don't like that. I don't want this. Um, I don't want double. I actually really don't want the double homes for these. I want to see if we can get like some bigger farm plots. If we can get more food off of them or not. people into farming. Another dude in the granary. I'm not gonna put extra living space on these though. I will upgrade the houses but then I'll put farms on them. Wow, 179 planks, cool. Alright, we got our manor. Hill reserves. Definitely want to keep that. Okay, cool, and then there's a castle planner. But we can always upgrade this, nice. Um, yeah. We'll lose a little bit of happiness, but I'm okay with that. tax. Cool. Let the money flow. Alright, so anytime we have over 100 planks, we're going to sell them. So now we have plank production out the wazoo. That's great. It's just more ways to make money. All right, we're rich. Put a new horse. Two. Raid. Um. You can order wheat, order rye, barley flax. Just straight up buy food. Reef. Oof, look at those prices. Let's import apples. Like a lot of apples. That should uh, keep everybody fed. Let's just, yeah, we'll just have to import some food. We have a really rocking economy right now. Lack of entertainment. Okay. Not entertained. Come on. You got, you got a tavern. Alright. Um... Vegetable garden. Vegetable garden. Vegetable garden. Alright, we'll see if any of what I just did made a difference. Yeah, we're at max families right now. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm a little disappointed in just how long it's taking to get decent yields off this stuff. Wheat. Wheat. Alright, we're getting cheap. A lot of people are going down this weird route. They're not making them. In the old version, they made their own paths. That's kind of weird. I noticed that. Let's do a road here to see if that helps them speed up. Getting to work. I need you to get to work faster. Get a road around the whole dang thing. No more storage space left. Saw pit. Yeah, we got a lot of planks. That's a pretty awesome thing. 3,400? Yeah, I think I broke the game, guys. Oh. I didn't establish a trade route. My bad. Nice. All right, we're going to import honey, too. These storehouses don't have crap in them. Level three. That will up the families a little bit, but where is it? Yeah, the passive income that we have is pretty substantial. Alright, we have enough. We have enough money we could actually hire mercenaries. I don't want to attack this guy, but I'm just not really sure what I'm getting myself into. <laughs> like, uh, I want to kill you. Alright. Let's, uh, let's try something else. Oh wow, look at that. So that's our retinue. We don't want to get rid of them. We can get rid of everybody else, but not the retinue. And you can uh, customize your retinue. Oh yeah. I'm I'm honestly always partial to to the foot soldier. Recruitment at arms. There we go. Oh, I can. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. You can customize each one of them. Wow. Alright. Upgrade armor. Holy crap. I did not know you could do this. Okay. Oh, man. You can change color, too. That's neato. I like this one. Yeah, that's a scary looking dude. That's badass. It's like they have a side sword too, so they... Recruit men at arms. Oh, recruit ministrials. Promote one of your citizens to your retinue. It's locked in early access. Oh wow, and there's expertise levels, so you can really customize these guys. This guy's, this guy's jelly. Buy locally, import. Okay, buy locally. Oh, pretty much all the same. But it's really cool. Yeah, if you don't buy, they, they, they have their mail. Now you do this. 
Personalization's coming later too. I like that. Alright. Like... Like no reason not to have... <laughs> it's funny you can get up a buckler. Definitely think you should have a morning star, my friend. Great. That's better. Yeah, pick. Anti armor weapons. Yeah, I get red. That's pretty neat. You have like a kind of assortment of, of men. Go. He looks kind of like he's wearing a skirt in that one. There we go. Yeah, I like all these guys, man. You're all getting upgrades. Because we're going to war. We're going to attack that fucking lord dude soon. We're going to get some money. You guys are all going to go to war. Yeah. So that's where you get your heavy armored people. It's, it's them. I didn't realize that. I feel like they could easily take the bandits, and I really want to prove that they can. We're about to run out of timber. I am not running out of timber anytime soon, my friend. Effectiveness 1%, yeah, because they're running in heavy armor. Yeah, I gotcha. Policies available. Oh, nice, I got policies. Oh, yeah, 50% reduction in crops. No. Skip meals. Nope. Yeah, those won't be used today. All right. This is pretty sweet. So this is my my guys right here, man. And they're super super tired. You can see their energy is almost nothing. We got a bandit camp of 16 dudes. We're gonna we're gonna chill right here. All right, wait for them. All right, our food's getting a little high. We're, I think we're able to import a lot of food. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Let's get the shit out of me. Okay, we're a little we're a little tired, but that's all right. We're gonna watch these guys fight. Come on, guys. <laughs> you can do it. I know you're a little fatigued. I know you guys are tired, but come on, man. You got armor. Alright, they've killed four of them. Oh, nice. He a death kill on him. Alright, they're back up. They're back up and running now. Corpse is near negative 20. Yeah, they're, you're, they're the corpses of your enemy, my friend. Alright. Alright, that scared the shit out of me, man. Alright, let's go. Then resources, this belongs to my treasury now. Yeah, we need the money. Okay, well, what did we learn? Don't stand too close. <laughs> Don't stand too close to the bandits that you're trying to attack. Alright, I think I'm going to pull back for now, but, uh... Holy cow. Spread out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We'll send them back home. That was crazy, though. Those guys are tough. Yeah, I think the more towns you have... Um, are you shitting me? Oh, fuck me. They're gonna come right at us. 
Alright, let's bunch up. Alright, man. Yeah, we got a we got a really good group of people right here. So this is our custom retinue versus a bunch of dumbass brigands who thought they could take us. These guys all have high grade full plate armor and all the best stuff. We got 12 of our boys. Come on. Yeah, fight for America. I don't know what I don't know where we are. Neslo, it's it's got a it's got a ring to it. All right. All right, we've killed a few of them already. Their bodies are just buried in, oh, in the frenzy. Ooh. Ooh, we're losing. We're losing stamina. And we may have lost somebody, too. So they got one of them. There we go. Yeah, we definitely lost, we lost this dude right here. Get this thing over here now. As long as my treasury. Alright, we got a thousand. And we're just gonna go home now. We gotta go home and prepare for war. Put a garrison tower down or two. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Big old farm plots. Two families on them, they should be able to handle all that. Alright. Alright. We'll need to hire another dude and get him equipped. Nice, they do get experience. That's awesome. We have a lot of people we can pull from for combat. That's really neat. If I declare war on this guy, I'm going to have to fight him. Oh, I can claim with influence 2,000 points. Let's do it. We're gonna claim this dude's territory. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna like that. Battle. For, okay, the gauntlet has been thrown. So he's bringing in 36, 36. Ooh, he's sending in light mercenary units. So let's see what he's got. Wow. Got some good units. Oh, wow. This is going to be a fun fight. 
18 shitholes. Okay. What do I get? I get this. Oh, yes. Each month, the hundred. Higher. 45 for each of these. Higher. Okay. Two can two can play at that game, friend. Rally all on my own. Are we got enough bowmen? I kind of feel like uh, I think we've hit our limit here, huh? Fine. Okay. Looks like we ran out of recruits. Interesting. Alright, so where are our guys coming from? All the way back here. That's not good because we're going to be a little fatigued. I can make it where I drop all your claims. Nope. That's a lot of money, though. I would have been a... I would have lost a thousand influence, but... Now we're, we're going to come in from over here. We're going to press our claim. All right, well, that's going to be the next episode. Right next to the manor. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will pick up very, very soon. And have a great day.